Butterflies are symbols of grace and beauty, transformation and rebirth, life and hope. They contribute to the well-being of Earth and play a big role in helping to grow the food we eat. Unfortunately, humankind has not always been so kind to them. Pesticides and herbicides have decimated their populations, and loss of habitat along the migration routes through the U.S. on their way to their winter home in Mexico have put them under extreme stress. So anything we can do to help them is to their benefit and ultimately to ours. That's what Dave Eckhart and his wife Joy in Tampa, Florida have been doing ever since they became interested in butterfly gardening. We have exciting news this morning. We've had five butterflies come out just within the past couple hours. Two of them are about ready to be released. Uh, three of them still drying out a little bit. You see the black lines on them as they come out of the chrysalis. Those black lines are filled with fluid. They're kind of like veins. They fill with fluid and the wings expand. And it takes them a while to uh, if it's a male, get to the point like see a this black one dot here. There and there. Signifying he's ready to get out and fly. Monarchs are absolutely dependent on one plant, the milkweed. It's the only plant on which they will deposit their eggs. It's the only plant their larva will feed on before it's time for them to form their chrysalis. Joy, my wife and I got started on this last February kind of a COVID science project, lockdown science project. And we started out with two milkweeds and saw all of a sudden we had nine big caterpillars on it. And then next thing you know, there were none. Um, come to find out lizards were getting them. So I built a, originally built a cage using some uh, window screen and wood, and then found these cages on, online through the Monarch Butterfly Store. So we got the cage, and what we do is once we find caterpillars on the host plants out here on, on the milkweeds, we'll take them and put them in milkweed plants inside the cage. This caterpillar nursery has given them a safe place to feed and go through the metamorphosis process. This small intervention in the monarch's life cycle has had a major impact on their rates of reproduction and survival. And last year we had 146 from February to about December make it all the way to butterfly and release. Now those cages work well. Uh, we ended up having to constantly replace the milkweeds because those caterpillars are voracious. Eckhart, who served in the Marine Corps during the Vietnam War, is very aware of how small things can make a big difference. It's as simple as going to your local plant store and buying milkweed, some butterfly-friendly flowering plants to give them a food source, and then giving them a safe place to complete the last step in their life cycle. And I found the easiest way to find plants that the butterflies will like the nectar of is when you're at the plant nursery, look at which ones the, the bees are getting on. And those are, are ones that I'll buy and plant here for the butterflies to get their sustenance off of. Give Mother Nature a little bit of help. It goes a long way, as long as you don't get uh, too invasive in it. Now we've probably served some lizards out of having some meals off of these uh, caterpillars, but uh, in the long run, I think we've done a pretty good job of helping out the monarch population. And this would be a good project for, for school kids, too, as a science project. So, have a good day. For time to travel, this is Phil Dean in Tampa, Florida.